Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Hope you're all doing well. I am on for Thrifty Thursday. Um, it is an open collaboration hosted by Cherie at Turquoise Dreaming. I will link her down below. So go and check out what she's found for Thrifty Thursday. And she lists all the participants below in her description box as well if you want to check them all out. So I went to two secondhand stores again today. Um, I have a theory now because there hasn't been much at the secondhand stores for a couple of months. And then I went last week and managed to get quite a bit of craft, good craft items. And then again this week there was some interesting stuff. So I think it's school holidays here now. So I reckon all the mums have these clean outs at school holiday time when they're stuck home with their kids. That's my theory. I'm trying to figure out when all the good stuff's there so I know when to go next time. So firstly, I grabbed these, these big packs of cardstock. Now I have a lot of cardstock. It's not something I use a lot of, but I do hope to use it a lot more in the future when I get moving. <laughs> so, um, but these really appealed to me. It can cost quite a bit, you know, usually when you go looking for some, it's not on sale and it gets a bit expensive when you want plain stuff. And this looks just like solid 12 by 12 papers. And there's a lot of them in the pack. So this looks like browns, oranges and yellows and reds. Uh, they were $5 a pack and I thought that was rather decent. And then there were blues. Whenever I go searching for blues, I don't have a lot. So I do have some A4 size that I got, but not the 12 by 12s. And when I go using my nice 12 by 12 papers, I have a lot of patterned papers but I usually want the solids to go with them and I never have the right colours, so I think these will be great. So I just want to check that they are just the solids, if I can crack into them. So I hope you're all well. It's quite warm here today, so I managed to get the shopping done and then get home and weed my side patch of garden, which is great. Oh yeah, so that's gorgeous. There's heaps of different colours there. Beautiful. So very, very happy with that. Well worth five dollars. So I won't bother taking the blue out because I'm sure you can think of what it looks like. Um, there were two of these plastic expanding files, so they're great for me to keep excess book pages or even like my painted papers and that sort of thing in. I'm always looking for extra storage for things. At the moment I'm using expanding files for a lot of my themed book pages. I probably also need one for some of my accounts because I keep using them for book pages and then not having them for my accounts and stuff anymore. So they're brand new and they've still got the little stickers and that for the tabs. So they're going to be very handy. So much cheaper getting these sorts of storage things from the second hand shop. Uh, next, I did get a book. It was 50 cents though, which is great. So this is an Ex Encyclopedia Britannica Atlas. Nice old one. It's not 1768, unfortunately. <laughs> it is 1952, this one. And it's beautiful. Even the index is just beautiful. So I had to save this one. I think it would have ended up getting um, thrown out in the end anyway. It's in pretty good condition. These, I think they're placemats and they're absolutely beautiful. So they're on your gingham. I don't know if you'd call, it looks like chicken scratch to me, but it's got this big lot of embroidery there, but they're gorgeous. 
I always wanted to try chicken scratch. I went and bought some gingham, I don't know, probably eight years ago or something from Spotlight just to give the chicken scratch a go because I love the way it looks. I must try it sometime because it looks quite simple, really. But yeah, I love these and I think these make beautiful covers. I don't think I'd dare even cut them down. I could have them overhanging a bit because I was thinking I'd have to make an extra big journal, but I think a journal about yay big would be all right and have these bits just hanging over. I think that'd be really nice. So I think that's what I'll end up doing with those. Very pretty. And they were, it was a dollar for the pair, which is great. Great for here anyway. I grabbed this doily placemat thing. I've got to take this off, which I might do while I'm here, actually. It's annoying me. It was machine made or something. I mean, knew it says it was $2.50 made in China, but I just love the applique on it. It's not even really applique, is it? No. But it's beautiful and I love it. So I bought it. I'll keep that too. I like keeping tags for doing some junk journaling. Got a few grab bags, I'll do them last. Uh, these. Got these three bridge score pads, they're 50 cents each. They're new ones, but I will dye these. I have some vintage ones, which I hoard a bit. So I thought these will be great to dye and alter and that sort of thing, and then I can still hoard my vintage ones. <laughs> Well, I can use them, can hoard the vintage ones and use them in vintage style journals, but these ones I can dye and colour and, yeah, alter and do what I like with and not feel bad that I'm ruining the vintage ones, so. All these things, oh, don't know why. Picked them up, looked at them, put them back in the box and then picked them up and bought them. It was a dollar. They're princess cards and envelopes. It's because I keep getting princess stuff and I got that, um, was it a photo album or a scrapbook, which is a princess one and it will make a good cover for a princess journal. So I will make one sometime. So I think, well, I might as well grab these to put in it. And they're pretty cool actually because they don't have like an age on them or anything. They're plain. So they'll be great to use. So I'm glad I got them now. So night cards and envelopes, it says. I want to see what the envelopes are like. How do I get into this? Break it. I mean, it isn't really my thing, but I buy so much stuff that's not really my thing. And I have so much fun sometimes when I do something that's not my thing. You know, the bright and sparkly and all that. It's so much fun. So... It's nice to go out of your comfort zone and have some fun with it. So it looks like they're just plain envelopes, so that's all right. I can use them for anything. So I've got a pile of those. Um, still now I've got some glitter paint gold. I get this stuff if I see it cheap. 50 cents. I thought that was all right. Um, you know, just if I want to have a play on the um, gel plate sometime or just for a bit of fun, <laughs> my stencils or whatever. This looked interesting, so I grabbed it. Why not? Now these. They were just like that, and I thought, and they're a dollar each. I don't know if they're worth it or not, but I assumed they were postage stamps. I like postage stamps, so I thought, why not? I think we're probably all the same, us ladies, um, especially with the grab bags of lace and things like that. Um, when I was a child, I used to love Lucky Dips. But then once you get a bit older, you realise that it's just rubbish in them. You know, and you're better off just using the $1 or $2 to get something that's worth the $1 or $2, you know. Um, but when you go get your grab bags and that from the secondhand stores, it's a bit like a lucky dip, isn't it? And a lot of the time it's actually worth the money. <laughs> so it gives you that little thrill that you used to get when you were a child. 
So I like getting these things and not quite knowing what's in there. Hmm, they're a bit dirty. Let's see. It says Holland. That's Australian. They're very dirty. But still, I don't mind using them in that case if they're a bit broken and that. And that one's got the perforations in it. It's a bit broken though. Because usually if they've got the perforations, I actually keep them and put them away. There's another one in there. Netherlands. I've got an album where I keep ones with perforations for my collection. I've decided to use most of my stamps in my journaling, but I do keep some of the special ones. Oh, there's another one that's got the perforations. So I might, yeah, that one's not in too bad a condition, so that will probably go away in my album. So there's a nice lot there. There's another one. It's funny because I'm not used to seeing the Australian bird stamps with perforations like that. So that's odd. A lot of Aussie stamps there. Another one. Yeah, there's a lot of them with the perforations. All right, so that's a nice pile there. That looks a bit better than it was looking. Mauritius. Oh yeah, they, some of them. Mostly Australian though, but that's all right. I don't really mind where they come from as long as there's stamps in there. Dirty envelopes, so I don't think I'll be keeping them. There's only a couple in there. They are from France though. I wonder if they even looked in here before they put a price on them. India few in there. Is it United States? Yeah. A bit stuck together, these ones. Oh, there's a few in here, so I think that makes it worth the dollar. Yeah, just about. It's a bit of fun. I like that one. German. Oh, that's a little sticker with a bird. That's cute. Alright. What else did I get? Oh, hankies. I've got to grab some hankies. It's all about this one for a while as well. I think it was $1.50 for these. And I don't really like the look of these hankies much in the background. I mean, they're pretty and I can use them, but I wouldn't buy them otherwise. But I kept looking at that one and I really liked that one. So I, I ended up grabbing it. It was worth the money anyway to get, a, get all of it. But I do really like that one. And the colours of these will be nice in some spring themed journals just sort of newer, thin ones, but I can use them. That's more than I thought to. Yeah, so five of those ones and that one. And what next? I think we're up to, there was grab it oh there's that as well we've got this i'm pretty sure it's a corner punch let's get an envelope there are a couple of punches there but it was your usual like flower and butterfly and that sort of thing which i have heaps of don't think i have this corner punch oh that's lovely so it's like your photo corner that's beautiful. I'll definitely use that. Nice. There was this paint roller. I thought, why not? And in the end, they gave it a foot to me for free. <laughs> so that was good. It's not Mark. Not that that means anything because they're pretty cheap, aren't they? But anyway, <laughs> I thought that might be fun on the gel plate. Make some lines of paint. 
and that sort of thing. Or just straight onto paper as well. So have a bit of fun with that. Now we're up to my grab bags and then I've got a tub of stuff which is like a big grab bag but it's in a plastic tub and I'm not sure what's in there and it looks really exciting but it might be a letdown, I'm not sure. I thought we'd go through it together. So we'll start with these bags. I have no self-control, I tell you, but if the price is good... <laughs> There was this big bag, it was $4, and I looked at it and I thought, you know, I really don't need, I have pink, I have white, I have cream, I have enough of that. <laughs> then I thought, you know, but for $4, there's quite a bit in there. So I grabbed it. So it has this cream, uh, what do you call it, ribbon, satin ribbon, nice thick one. This is very pretty another satin ribbon but it has this pattern on it it's very pretty that one a white ribbon need more ribbon like a hole in the head it's definitely i'm gonna have to spend a whole year sometime going through youtube finding all the videos where people make things with ribbon and lace and just mass making <laughs> and then going what am i gonna do with all this stuff uh yeah so we've got some pink gathered here. Got some white. Oh, this is nice though. It's gathered, but we can always take the gathering part off anyway, if we want. Sort of a bit like curtain lace that. I think we've got a fair bit of that by the looks of things. There's another bit rolled up there. Might be a bit of that, is there? No. This looks interesting. Hmm. It's different, isn't it? Some beautiful roses, I assume they are in it. Getting some interesting shaped lace this last week or two we are. Some nice thick white lace. I do like that. That's different than anything I've got. Beautiful for spines and belly bands. Another thick one here. Yeah, that looks like a big piece. It's been chopped off of something. That's nice. Some eyelet lace. And there's stacks and stacks of this. So it looks gathered with the ribbon in it. I'd have to do some pink themed journals. Actually, I have some, I think it's um, upholstery fabric that this might go with. So maybe I can do some frilly pink, frilly foo-foo stuff with that sometime and use up a whole lot of this. So yeah, I've got a stack of that. This is nice and vintage, this one. Fine gathered lace. I like this. And there is a lot of that. It's almost like a crocheted lace. Very fine though, in that little section there. It's like netting. That is beautiful. Look, it was worth, I'd pay $4 for that. I don't know why I gotta smell stuff. Why do I get that urge? <laughs> I'll probably die from some like fungus in my brain or something from smelling something bad one day like that. So yeah, there's a lot in there. And then there are these interesting little bags. This one has a sheep in it. I don't know what. I think it's an applique in a bag or something, maybe. And then it looks like some fringe. I'm thinking, I really don't need all that. But then I saw the broderie. Now, I say anglaise, but I've been hearing people say anglaise. So now I'm confused. So that's stuff anyway. So I thought I'd grab it because I think it was 50 cents. 
Yeah, and I've just put it in this pocket and the pocket looks filthy, so I'm going to take it out and discard the pocket. <laughs> it's cute. A black sheep. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I'm going to have to stick that in a personal journal. Yeah. <laughs> um, some of that bias binding. Some blue bias binding. This is just some cord with one of them things. A D, do you call them D rings? That is gorgeous though, that is. So it's worth it for that. It feels nice and starchy. It is beautiful though, isn't it? The pattern on there feels new. And this, the thing of nightmares that is. And what would you do with that? Could probably cut it down or plait it or something. <laughs> yeah. I think I might pass that on. Put it back in the bag. Uh, another bag like that. This one looked like it had some cute little trim bits in it. I think this one was $1.50, so... Take out this, this looks like a piece of felt. Put that with my other felt pieces. Look at this. So they must have all been taken off of different pieces of clothing, I'd say. Got some embroidery thread. Artillery twist. Belfast embroidery cotton. Got some rickrack here, some interesting rickrack. This orange one with white dots. It's very interesting. And we've got a blue one. And we've got this beautiful trip. That's green and white. Got some more of that green and white one. This one, I love little bits like this. These beautiful little daisies, blue and white. There's quite a bit of that. Some gold ribbon. Some beautiful orange roses. And then lastly in that bag is this brown. I think it's a really dark brown satin ribbon. So that was nice. Nice little lot of trims. Just going to put all of that away in that bag and out of the way. Put my little black sheep in there too. So the last thing I have to show was this. And now it's a big plastic container. And it's got some sticky tape on, so I'll take that off. And so I haven't had a look in there, but I can see from the top that there's an applique of a butterfly. And it looks from the side that there might be some trims. And like I said, I just love a lucky dip. <laughs> <laughs> so the excitement of it. And so I thought it would be a fun thing to bring back and we can go through it together and see if it was worth it. <laughs> so here goes. But I like the container. I'll be using this in the craft room, I think. It comes all the way off. So I'm going to put it to the side and I'll start dragging things out. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's got a fair bit in there. Okay, I've got some fabric here by the looks. It's very odd fabric too. It's not quite felt. I don't know what it is. Interesting. So black fabric. Got this beautiful satin material. That's gorgeous. 
underneath of that. Oh, they're bright. Gold and silver material. Some more black material. I didn't even know there was material. Mm -hmm. This is really nice. A patchwork piece. That's really nice. Some quilting squares. I want to see if that's an actual picture. Looks like a cart or something. It's very abstract. They're quite oriental style, aren't they? There's a couple of pieces of this one. more silver material. Jeez, that is bright. Oh, that's lovely. They're being cut off of a skirt or something. Very pretty. We've got our applique, so we've got this beautiful butterfly. I love that. It's pretty. Another butterfly. So it's quilter's tape. Directions on back. I do not see directions anywhere. They lie. Anyway, looks very old. <laughs> and there's this bag of lace. So I've got this. I've got a lot of this type of lace. I like this maroon one. There's a darker one. This is beautiful, this colour. That's a nice piece for the top. Same with that one. And there's a whole heap of this. Move them out of the way. So that's a massive piece of this. This is beautiful. That'll make some gorgeous belly bands, won't it? And even some pockets. Lots and lots of it. So yeah, I think this box is definitely worth it. I did pay $10 for it. I didn't want to say that until I'd had a look in it. <laughs> Only just worth it, really. I mean, it was definitely worth it, but yeah. Oh, yeah, there's charms and everything in here, so. Oh, this is fun. So this has some other glass beads by the look. A beautiful colour. Actually, I might keep them out. They might go with something I'm doing. They might not, too, but I'll keep them out. Gold charms here. It's like a box of everything we like, isn't it? Charms, beads, appliques, different bits of material. A little mirror. It's very ornate. That's beautiful. Bow, key, music note, pair of slippers, music notes, it's a cherub, 
Yes, there's a question mark. It says okay, peace sign, little boot, smiley face. What is that one? A pair of roller skates or a pair? Well, it's one roller skate. Bicycle. Love this. Little person in the rain with an umbrella. And I don't know what that is. Stethoscope. Is it meant to have something with it? I don't know. I don't think it goes with any of the other pieces. Like rolled ribbon roses. It's a tassel, couple of tassels. Buttons. This is dress it up. Buttons and bows. Santa's helper. So some li little ribbon flowers and bows. And some white buttons. That's really cute. Oh my god, there's all sorts of stuff. Isn't that awesome? Something for the wine journal, maybe. Another little ribbon flower. Sequin trim. Another tassel. This is um Tape might be that florist's tape, not sure. Another ribbon flower, it's another pack that had ribbon flowers and bows and that in. Another applique that is gorgeous, nice autumnal colors. Some of this stuff like bias binding or something like that. Got another one of those appliques. A bag of treasures. Another bow and flower. A dollar seventy five each for the tassels. Purple and green. Keep that for the purple and green journals. Oh, strawberries. Nice. Dress it up. Um, white and red. Buttons and bows. Gingham. isn't it? I have to try some bead embroidery sometime. Got stacks of patterns for it lying around the place. I just don't have the patience at the moment. Don't have the patience for much. <laughs> so. The kids are all growing up. I think that took all my patience away. And the last thing in the bag is some of this pearl trim. So that's awesome, Ashley. That was heaps of fun. That was an um, eclectic bag of goodies, wasn't it? And yeah, lots of goodies in there too. So yeah, that was a good fun haul. That should do me for a while now. So I hope you all stay happy and healthy and get some crafting done. I'm off to do some crafting myself now after I put all of this away, which will take a while. So take care, be good, and I will see you again soon. Bye.